Hello, and welcome to the 191st episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's reading is from the book of Jeremiah, chapters 21 through 24. The word came from the Lord to Jeremiah when King Zedekiah sent to him Pasher the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maasiah, the priest. They said to him, Inquire of the Lord for us, for the king of Babylon besieges us, if the Lord will act according to all his wonderful works, and the king will depart from us. Jeremiah said to them, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, king of Judah, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I turn back your weapons of war to gather them in the midst of this city, weapons with which you wage war against the Chaldeans, who shut you in from outside the wall. For I will fight against you with an outstretched hand and a powerful arm, with anger and wrath and with great provocation. I will strike all the inhabitants of this city, men and cattle, with a great death. Indeed, they shall die. After this, says the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, his servants and the people left in this city from death and from famine and the sword into the hands of their enemies who seek their lives. They shall cut them down with the edge of the sword. I shall not spare them, nor have compassion upon them. Now you shall say to this people, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who remains in this city shall die by sword and famine, but he who goes out to the Chaldeans who shut you in, he shall live. His life shall be as booty to him, and he shall live. For I have set my face against this city for calamities, and not for good things. It shall be given into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. O house of the king of Judah, hear the word of the Lord. O house of David, thus says the Lord. Bring about judgment early in the morning, and act uprightly, and deliver him who is plundered from the hand of the one who wrongs him, lest my wrath be kindled like fire that shall burn with no one to quench it. Behold, I am against you who dwell in the valley of Sor and the plain, who say, Who will terrify us, or who shall enter our dwelling? For I will kindle a fire in its woods, and it shall devour all the things round about. Thus says the Lord, Go down to the house of the king of Judah, and there you shall speak this word. And you shall say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, you who sit on the throne of David, you and your house and your people and those who enter these gates. Thus says the Lord, Bring about judgment and righteousness, and rescue the plundered from the hand of the one who wrongs him. Do not oppress and act ungodly toward the resident alien, the orphan, or the widow. Do not shed innocent blood in this place. For if you will indeed perform this word, there shall enter through the gates of this house kings who sit on the throne of David. They shall ride on horses and in chariots, they, their servants, and their people. But if you do not perform these words, I myself have sworn, says the Lord, this house shall become a desolation. For thus says the Lord, concerning the house of the king of Judah, you are Gilead to me, the head of Lebanon. Yet I will surely make you as a wilderness, and your city shall not be inhabited. I will bring against you a man who destroys with his two-edged axe, and they shall cut down your choice cedars and cast them into the fire. Then nations will pass through this city, and each will say to his neighbor, Why has the Lord done so to this great city? They will answer, Because they forsook the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped foreign gods, and served them. Weep not for the dead, neither lament. Weep bitterly for him who goes away, for he shall return no more to see his native land. For thus says the Lord concerning Shalom, the son of Josiah, who reigned in the place of Josiah his father, who left this place. He shall not return here any more, but he shall die in the place where I have exiled him. He shall see this land no more. Woe to him who builds his house without righteousness and his rooms upstairs without judgment who employs his neighbor for nothing and will not give him his pay. You built for yourself a well-proportioned house with breezy rooms upstairs lined with windows, cedar panels, and painted with vermilion. Shall you reign, for you provoked me as did your father Ahaz. They shall not eat and drink. It is better for you to bring about good judgment and righteousness. They did not understand and judge the cause of a lowly or poor man. Is this your not knowing me, says the Lord? Behold, neither your eyes nor your heart are good for anything except for covetousness and the shedding of innocent blood and for committing wrongdoing and murder. Therefore, thus says the Lord to Joachim, the king of Judah, the son of Josiah, 
Woe to this man! They shall not mourn for him, saying, O oh, brother! Neither shall they weep for him, saying, Alas, master! But he shall be buried with his burial of a donkey, and they will drag him out to be discarded beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, and lift up your voice in Bashan. Shout to the faraway places of the sea that all your lovers are crushed. For I spoke to you concerning your transgression, but you said, I will not hear. This has been your way from your youth. You do not hear my voice. The wind shall tend all your shepherds, and your lovers shall go into captivity. For then you will be shamed and treated with dishonor because of all your lovers. Those who dwell in Lebanon and who make their nest in the cedar trees, you shall groan when pangs come upon you as those of a woman giving birth. As I live, says the Lord, though Jeconiah, king of Judah, the son of Jehoiakim, were the signet on my right hand, still I would drag off all of you. I will give you into the hands of those who seek your life, into the hands of the Chaldeans, before whose face you are afraid. So I will cast all of you and your mother who bore you into a country where you were not born. There you shall die, but they shall not return to the land they long for in their souls. Jeconiah is dishonored like a worthless vessel, for he is cast forth and driven out into a land he did not know. O land, land, hear the word of the Lord. Write this man as a banished man, for none at all from his seed shall be raised to sit on the throne of David, or still as a ruler in Judah. Woe to the shepherds who scatter and destroy the sheep of my pasture. Therefore, thus says the Lord against those who tend my people, You have scattered my sheep and driven them out. You did not care for them. Behold, I shall punish you according to your evil practices. I shall receive the remnant of my people from every land where I have driven them. I will establish them in their pasture, and they shall increase and be multiplied. I will set up shepherds over them who will feed them. They shall fear no more, nor be terrified, says the Lord. Behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David the righteous orient, and a king shall return. He will understand and bring about judgment and righteousness on the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel shall dwell in confidence. This is his name by which the Lord will call him, the Lord our righteousness. The Lord says, Therefore, behold, days are coming when they shall no longer say, As the Lord lives who brought up the house of Israel from the land of Egypt. But they will say, The Lord lives who gathered all the descendants of Israel from the north country and from all the countries where he drove them and restored them into their land. Among the prophets my heart is broken within me, and all my bones are shaken. I am as a broken-down man overcome with wine because of the Lord's presence and the excellence of his glory. Because of these things the land mourns and the pastures of the land are dried up. Their way of life has become evil, and so has their strength. For both prophet and priest are defiled, and I see their evils within my house, says the Lord. Therefore, let their way be to them as a fall into darkness, and they shall be tripped up and fall therein, because in the year of their visitation I will bring calamities upon them. In the prophets of Samaria I have seen lawless actions. They prophesy through Baal and lead astray my people Israel. Also, in the prophets of Jerusalem I have seen horrible things. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evil men so they might not turn back each from his evil path. They are to me like Sodom and her inhabitants like Gomorrah. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will feed them pain and give them bitter water to drink, because from the prophets of Jerusalem defilement goes out into all the land. Thus says the Lord Almighty, Do not listen to the words of the prophets, for they invent a futile vision for themselves. They speak from their own heart and not from the mouth of the Lord. They say to those who reject the word of the Lord, You shall have peace. To those who walk according to their own wishes, and to everyone who walks in the error of his heart, they say, No evil shall come upon you. For who stands in the camp of the Lord and sees his word, who gives ear to his word and hears it? Behold, there is an earthquake from the Lord, and wrath goes forth as from an earthquake. It shall come violently on the ungodly. The anger of the Lord shall not turn away until he establishes it, because of the undertaking of his heart. They shall not understand this in the last days. I did not send these prophets, but they went forth. I did not speak to them, but they prophesied. If they had stood in my counsel and heard my words, 
then they would have turned my people away from their evil practices. I am a God who is near, says the Lord, and not a God afar off. Can a man hide in secret and I not see him? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? I heard what the prophets said and what lies they prophesied in my name, saying falsely, I have dreamed a dream. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies, when they prophesy the wishes of their heart? They reason by their dreams, so men will forget my law. Each prophet tells his neighbor to forget me, as their fathers forgot my name in their worship of Baal. The prophet in whom there is a dream, let him tell his dream. And the prophet in whom there is my word, let him tell it truthfully. What is chaff in comparison to wheat? So are my words, says the Lord. Are not my words like a blazing fire, says the Lord? Are they not like an axe striking a rock? Behold, therefore, I am against the prophet, says the Lord God, who steal my words, each prophet from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets who are drowsy and put forth prophecies as mere words. Behold, I am against the prophets who prophesy false dreams, and they relate them. They lead my people astray with their lies and in their deceits, yet I did not send them or command them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all. The Lord says, So if these people, or a prophet or a priest, asks you, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? You shall then say to them, You are the burden, and I will strike you down. As for the prophet and the priest and the people who say, The burden of the Lord, then I will take vengeance on that man in his house. Thus each shall say to his neighbor and each to his brother, What has the Lord answered? What has the Lord spoken? Do not mention the burden of the Lord any more, for the burden on a man shall be his word. But why, you say, has the Lord our God spoken? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Because you spoke this word, the burden of the Lord, therefore I instructed you, saying, You shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I take and strike you in the city I gave to you and your fathers. I will bring everlasting disgrace upon you, and a perpetual dishonor which shall not be forgotten. Therefore, behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when they will no longer say, The Lord lives who brought the house of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord lives who brought all the seed of Israel from the north and from all the countries where he banished them and restored them to this land. The Lord showed me two baskets of figs set before the temple of the Lord, after Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried away captive Jeconiah, king of Judah, the son of Jehoiakim, and the rulers, the craftsmen, the prisoners, and the wealthy men from Jerusalem, and brought them to Babylon. One basket was full of very good figs, like the first figs that ripened. The other basket was full of very bad figs, which no one could eat, because they were rotten. And the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? I replied, Good figs, very good figs, and also bad figs, figs too rotten to eat. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, As these good figs, so I will acknowledge that for good things I settled the tribe of Judah in a far land, whom I sent from this place into the land of Chaldea. For I will set my eyes on them for good things, and restore them to this land for good things. I will build them up, and not tear them down. I will plant them, and not pluck them up. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be to me as a people, and I will be to them as God. They shall return to me with their whole heart. As for the bad figs, too rotten to eat, surely thus says the Lord, I shall deliver them to Zedekiah, the king of Judah, his nobles and the remnant of Jerusalem, those left in this land and those dwelling in Egypt. I will cause them to be dispersed into all the kingdoms of the earth, and they will be for a disgrace, for a parable, for hatred, and for a curse in every place where I drive them. I will send famine, death, and the sword to them, until they come to an end in the land I gave to them. Here ends the reading for today.